And we've got the snow, we've had freezing drizzle, and now we're going to be talking about the wind that's coming up here too. Um, outside right now, that wind has picked up just a little bit southeast, 20 miles per hour. Uh, you can see the temperature at 25, and uh, we're picking up on a little bit of that light freezing drizzle at the moment. So uh, I know we had a bit of snow down, and some of the roads have cleared, but that's something we're going to have to watch over the next few hours here. Uh, could make roads slick again. Looking at it, Iowa State right now, it's pretty quiet. You can see the wind, though, blowing the snow off of that rooftop. They have still got partially covered roadways out in that neck of the woods. And you look at the temperature, we've actually been warming up today. So it's gone all the way up into the mid to upper 20s. We're going to continue to warm into the evening. So that's both good and bad. Again, we're going to get mixed types of precipitation because of that. But uh, areas that see this warm up, central and southern portions of the state, We'll see less blowing snow because of that, so that is a good thing. 30 right now in Lamoni. Council Bluffs the same. 28 for Creston, much colder off to the north where they're in the low to mid 20s at this point. So tracking the snow, again, those warmer areas off to the south. Seeing that wintry mix and light freezing drizzle right now, still moderate to heavy snowfall for northeastern and southeastern portions of the state and drier air working in off to the northwest there. So again, even though we're seeing that clearing to the northwest, winds are going to be picking up here and could make things difficult for us. So zooming in on that wintry mix, Creston eastward towards Sheridan, upwards towards the metro um, areas up like Ames that we saw. Again, not seeing a whole lot of snow fall, but you're still going to be dealing with some patchy freezing drizzle and even some patchy snow showers. To the southeast, Ottumwa just getting in on the edge of that freezing drizzle and upwards towards Washington, picking up on some snow. Northern portions of the state kind of on the back edge for Fort Dodge, upwards through Mason City. Uh, we go regionally here, and we still got a little bit more snow to get through on the back edge of this by early tomorrow morning hours. So even once this is done falling, that is not going to be the end of the snow for us. And looking at the winds, they're not as big as they're not as strong as they're going to be tomorrow, but still could lead to some blowing snow. 40 mile an hour gusts upwards of Spencer, 20s and 30s across much of the rest of the state. And looking at visibilities right now, where we've seen that snow uh, depart from, it's increased greatly, but you can see some of those areas that we're seeing the strong winds in already seeing some reduced visibilities for Carroll, upwards towards Spencer, where they have those 40 mile an hour winds, and down towards Council Bluffs, areas to the east, Pretty heavy snow still. Waterloo, one and a quarter mile visibility, as well as Iowa City. So as far as how much snow you can expect, again, a lot of locations already picking up that five inch mark. And we had Adel at seven inches. And with still more snow to come, we could see five to eight inches Fort Dodge up through Mason City. But even after that snow falls, again, it's, travel's not going to be a whole lot better tomorrow, is it, Bree? We actually are going to add a blizzard warning to the mess. We have uh, northwest Iowa. It does go into effect 6 a.m. tomorrow, lasts through 6 p.m. The winter storm warning does last through 6 p.m. Uh, tomorrow, as well as that advisory. Now, what we have going on tomorrow as far as travel impacts. Tonight, we're going to see that patchy freezing mix on those roads. So we are going to see freezing conditions. You are not going to want to be out on those roads tonight, especially because we lose that sunlight. Tomorrow, blowing and drifting snow across those roadways. It is going to be two hands on the wheel. Those winds are going to be gusting around 50 50 miles per hour, so ground blizzard conditions. As we move into Sunday, strong winds, frigid temperatures, single digits for the highs as we move into Sunday will feel much colder than that. Those winds tomorrow, these are the sustained winds. We're going to see it into the mid 20s out of the northwest. It really will crank up when we get those wind gusts, that extra push of air. Taking a look 8 a.m. on Saturday, you're going to see, feel those winds gusting upwards of 40 miles per hour. So it will be moving that fluffy snow all the way around. And then as we move into Sunday, we're even going to continue to see the winds on Sunday. Not as strong, but certainly going to be an issue once again. As far as wind chill, take a look. This is a wall of cold. It is going to push from west to east. So eastern Iowa is going to start off OK Saturday morning, but it is going to feel much cooler as we move into the weekend. Most of the weekend is going to feel sub zero for the entire state of Iowa, even on into Sunday with those single digit highs and those winds hanging around. As we look into tomorrow, we're going to see the blowing snow, falling temperatures, teens in the afternoon, feeling much colder than that. On Sunday, either side of zero, not going to be a day you want to be out. You're going to want to be bundled up inside. And that eight day forecast shows a little bit of relief coming in on the middle part of next week. Temperatures in the 30s finally melting some of this off. However, we do have another storm system by the middle of next week.